everyone, my name is Rosie and for today's activity we're going to be doing something called Catwalk Challenge. Now for this activity we're going to be designing an outfit or some accessories and then hopefully making them as well with things we have from around our houses. And you know what's the best part? Right at the end we're going to use our friends and family and people that we live with or via Zoom, we're going to do our virtual catwalk. So it'd be really really nice if you could all join in from home and we'd love to see what you make in the comments below. So to get started, you're going to need to grab some paper and a pen, and I want you to get designing. So we're gonna make our designs on paper. Now I have started doing mine already, but don't worry, you can give yourself as much time as you need to do your designs. So let's get designing. I think that I'm going to create an outfit that's kind of mythical creature, something a little bit out there and a bit different. So I'm going to make a skirt today. So I'm just gonna draw my outline of my skirt. And then I think I'm gonna make some accessories. I'm gonna make a piece of something to wear on my head, but I'm not the most creative person when it comes to making things from scratch. So do you know what? I'm gonna use one of my caps to make a hat. Now you can ask your grown-ups if you can do this. Don't use glue on any of their items of clothing. I just use a little bit of double-sided sticky tape to push things and make sure that they don't fall off. Now back to designing. I'm going to, I think my skirt should be pink. So let me grab my pink pen and give that a little bit of a colour. Now don't worry, these designs do not need to be perfect and you can give yourself as little or as much time as you like to do your work. So, I think that looks good. And on my hat, I'm going to make, I'm going to give myself some ears on my hat, I think. And I'm going to put some googly eyes too. Um, what else could I add? I might put some feathers or pom-poms or pipe cleaners. Just see what arts and crafts and materials you have lying around your house that your grown-ups don't mind you using. And you can get very, very creative. Now I'll show you what my design looks like. It's really, really not the best, but that's okay because sometimes designing things don't always turn out the best, but when we make them in real life, they really come to life and look so much better. So here is my design. I have done a tissue paper skirt, which I'm gonna use pink and white strands of tissue paper, uh, and I'm gonna cut them up into strips, and then I'm gonna use some string to tie it around my waist. And then I'm gonna use my cap and I'm gonna put some ears on it, some googly eyes and maybe use some feathers to give it a little bit of something exciting on the edge. So I'm gonna pop my design to one side, but make sure that I can still see it so that I know what I am making. Now, if you are following along with me and you're still designing, don't worry, that's okay. You can pause this video and play it again when you're ready to carry on. But I'm ready, so I'm gonna crack on straight away. Now, I have already cut up my tissue paper into some lovely strands. I have pink and I have some white. And what I'm gonna do really, really easy, I'm gonna use some string, which you might have lying around your house. And I'm going to cut a nice long piece, long enough so that it can tie around my waist. There we go. So let's just double check. Oh, yeah, see that's gonna go around my waist and will tie nicely at the back or at the side. So we're going to take our strands of tissue paper and I'm going to line them up like so. I'm going to make a little fold at the top of my tissue paper so that it can then have hook over the string. Then I'm going to use cell tape, nice and safe, and I'm going to stick the tissue paper together so that it hooks onto my string. Now I'm going to keep doing that. I've got lots and lots of strands here of tissue paper. So what you can do is you can keep adding strands and eventually you will end up with something that looks like this. Now this only took me about five minutes to make, just sitting here folding over the tissue paper. So it's something really easy. You can use any colours you like. You could also add some sequins onto the top here. You could make like a decorative waistband. But for me, I think this is really good because do you know what? I'm not the best at making things and I'm really, really proud of this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tie it around my waist and then my skirt 
is ready, which is amazing. Now, there we go. That is my lovely skirt on and ready to go. Now, don't worry that it doesn't go all the way around the side, but if you've got the time and you really want to, you can keep adding all of your strands all the way around and you can make a full skirt. Now, boys and girls and grown-ups too, I think it's time for us to start working on my headgear. So I said I was going to use one of my hats. So here it is in its glory. And what I'm going to use, I've got a selection of pipe cleaners. I've also got some feathers. And I might use some stickers or some pom-poms just to add to my item. So I've got flowers and butterfly stickers here. But I'm sure you guys have got lots of funky stickers at home. So I'm gonna, I like this flower sticker here actually. It's quite pretty. It's got pink flowers on it. So I might stick that on the edge of my cap right there. And then I'm going to use a pipe cleaner to make like an ear shape. So I've just bent it so it looks like a rabbit ear because I'm going for a rabbit or a mouse. I'm not really sure, but we're going with that idea. And I'm going to poke that. There's a hole in my hat already. So I'm going to use that to fix my pipe cleaner to my hat. There we are. So what you're going to do is keep working on your hat now. I have made one earlier because I want you guys to see with a bit of time what you can make. Here is my finished hat. Now I do think I look like a mouse because my hat is grey. But that's alright. I've got some lovely feathers. And I've made a little bit of a chain with some buttons. And I've got some googly eyes using double sided sticky tape. So let's pop my hat on. There we are. Now, I really like this outfit. I think it looks really good. If I get my design, I think my hat with my ears and the feathers on it with googly eyes, it looks pretty close. And my skirt definitely looks pretty good to what I originally designed. But boys and girls, I think it's time for you to finish making your outfits. And once you have made them, I think you should get a catwalk set up in your house somewhere and you can catwalk with your family. Please, please feel free to show us all the videos and some pictures of what you guys have made during our catwalk challenge activity today. Don't forget you can use anything around your house. You don't have to use arts and craft supplies like I have. You could literally use anything. You could get a blanket or a towel and make a cape. You can do all sorts of things. It's really exciting to see what you guys come up with. And I really, really hope that you have had lots of fun today with us here. So don't forget, share with us what you have been making. Stay safe, keep well, and we'll see you at Easter.